Namaste, I'm Archana. A warm welcome to day one of this 30-day yoga series, which is inspired by Panchabhuta or the five elements. In today's session, we're going to be focusing on asanas to build strength, stability, and stamina. So this whole session allows us to tap into the element earth by helping us connect the sensation of being supported, grounded, and connected to the earth uh, beneath us. So we'll begin today's session by coming to uh, sit in child's pose or balasana. So come on to your knees, spread your knees nice and wide so we can accommodate our abdomen in this space. Send your seat back towards your heel, reach your hands forward, stack your fist one over the other, rest your forehead. Now if the gap is still higher, you can always place a book, block, pillow, anything to see that the forehead is resting. For some of you, you may just um, one forearm over the other, rest your forehead. Very important, every part of your body is connected to um, the earth. Or you can simply rest your forehead on the mat. See what works for you. I'm going to rest my palms one over the other, rest my forehead, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Let out a big sigh. One more inhalation. Completely exhale through your mouth, letting out a big sigh. This pose is an invitation for you to let out any tension, any stress. Inhale and exhale. This allows us to feel supported by Mother Earth. One more breath in. Completely breathe out. Whenever you feel you're ready, slowly roll up. Come on to your knees and palms. Fingers pointing straight ahead. Fingers nice and wide, so you should be able to see the color of the mat. Wrist beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hip, and your toes are engaged. Now, slowly drop your belly towards the mat. It's still engaged, okay? It's not, you're just not letting it loose too flop down. I don't know any better word. Again, press into the earth, chin to chest. Pull that navel in, round your back. See that your shoulders are over your wrist. Chin in the direction of your chest. Once more. This time, see if you can coordinate your breath and look forward. As you breathe out, pull that navel in. We're going to do two more of this, coordinating breath with movement. Some of us may be slow. Some of us, this may be quicker. All you need to focus on is as you breathe in, chin, chest, gaze forward. As you breathe out, pull the navel in and down. Come back to neutral position. Press your toes into the mat, knees come off and send your seat back. Here your heels may not touch the mat, that's completely fine. Keep your knees bent, arms in, align with your ears. Now, look forward and as you breathe out, look at your belly or your knees or toes, whatever works for you. Inhale, gaze forward. Now notice if your palms are slipping, press the tip of your fingers into the mat. Turn and look from under your right arm. Again, gaze forward. Turn and look from under the left arm. Just bend one knee. Straighten. Bend the other knee. So you're bending your right, straightening your left. About five times. 
You try to bring your heel to touch towards the mat. If you're slipping, adjust. You'll hear some crack sounds, pop sounds, all of that is fine. Uh, just remember that there are no, no sharp shooting pain. And one. Now see if you can drop your heels. Drop ears in line with your arms, feet flat. Pressing with your palms into the earth, pressing with your feet. Knees can still stay soft. Take another breath in. Completely exhale. Now, if this feels too much on your shoulders, you can always drop your knees, especially if you're a beginner. Send your seat back. Anytime during your practice, you feel um, breathless, you feel it's a little too much, come to rest in child pose. Completely breathe out. Back again. Press your toes. Knees come off, arms in line with your ears. Now, step between your palms, halfway lift. Knees are soft. Remember to keep back straight. Ears are pulled away. Breathe out, forward fold. Again, belly comes to rest on your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Now, uh, if you feel comfortable, then straighten your knees. You're not locking. This is locked knees. This is soft knees. Here, you'll start feeling a stretch in the back of your legs. Breathe out again. Knees deeply bend. Fold forward. Inhale. Completely exhale. Now, we're going to slowly roll up. Like Roll your shoulders towards your ears. Bring it down and straighten. Shake your legs out. Hands come onto your waist. So feet is hip width apart. You can step to the top edge of your mat. Now, right leg in the same line, step back. So once you do this, you'll see your right toes are pointing in the direction of the long end of the mat. It's like at a 45 degree angle. You can go as far behind as you want or closer. Very important is that all your feet is pressing into the earth. Left knee stacks over your right ankle. For some of us, it may still just be here or you can take it all the way back. See what works for you. Inhale, raise your hands up towards the ceiling. Press with your feet into the earth. What generally happens is the outer edge of your foot starts lifting. Press that into the earth, engaging your whole leg. Thighs engaged. Inhale, reach up. Just imagine that you're pressing into the feet. Pressing your feet into the earth. Fingertips towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Completely breathe out. Now this time, just imagine as you're breathing in, you're drawing all that energy from the earth. Your legs through your upper body to, till your fingertips. Now, as you exhale, relax your shoulders. See that you're not just you know, tensed and holding tight. Focus is completely the lower body. Release, release your leg. Arms come in line with your shoulders. Again, bend that left knee. Place your left arm like you're creating a plus sign. Reach this hand up. You can simply stay here if it's comfortable. And we're going to draw circles. Okay? If you think you can go further, place this hand on the inside. Either hand straight or a nice straight line. Fingertips to your heel. From here, big circles. One. Open the chest two, three clockwise, three anti clockwise, and three. You're rooting through your foot and your hands. Again, I'll show you from here. If you can stay here, still feel the same thing. And three. Bring your hands down. 
release that leg, just straighten. Breathe out. Again, bend the knee slightly, rest your belly on your thigh, chin to chest, forehead, in the direction of your leg. One deep breath in. Completely exhale through your mouth. Relax. Spin the back leg. Step between your palms. Shake your legs out. Knees bend. With your left, hold your right elbow. Right, hold your left elbow. Just going to sway side to side. Keep your eyes open. And one. Drop your hands. Slowly again. Roll. Shake the legs out. Now we're going to step with our left leg. Hip width apart. Same thing. Left leg back. Adjust. Stack. One knee over the other. You'll notice how you feel on one side of the body need not be the same on the other side. So you may be able to go deeper or you may stay higher. Just you're going to observe. You don't want to change anything today. Breath in. The whole idea is with practice, you're going to try and balance the body out. Breathe in. Breathe out again. Rooting through your feet. Reaching those fingertips towards the ceiling. Inhale as you're drawing energy. Building strength in your lower body. Exhale. Relax your shoulders. Straighten. And then drop, reach, hands either here, all the way stretched out, or the full expression of your pose. From here, big circles. One, two, just notice how your breath feels. Notice what's happening with that back foot. Press and root through your feet. The other way, one, two, and three. Release, hands come on either side. If you want to walk the back leg forward, bend the knee, rest. Big inhalation. Completely exhale. And one. Bring both your feet together. Shake your legs out. Halfway lift. Breathe out. Forward fold. Step your legs back. Bring your knees to the mat like we come into tabletop. And then chest towards the floor. Arms come beneath your shoulders. Inhale. Slowly come up. See that your elbows are not splayed to the side. Press it towards your torso. Toes can stay engaged or rest the top of your feet. Breathe in. Up. You can do this. Yours away. Try and push your chest forward. Breathe out. Down. Inhale. The focus is pushing your chest forward, not arching at your back. Now press your toes. Pull the kneecap in. So your knees are off the mat. Lower body. Your thighs are all engaged. There are two ways. You can... Without engaging, you can simply move up and down, focusing on your breath or to build that strength, keep everything pulled in and exhale. Press your toes, cross at your ankle, forehead on the mat, walk back, bring your legs through. Come to rest on your seat. You can keep your heels away from your seat. Hands come to rest on your knees. You just, you're not 
full length okay keep this simple and just move back till you straighten your elbows gaze forward breathe in completely breathe out you touch you notice your abdomen is engaged see that you're not sinking you're not rounding your back pull this in those of you can take your hands off you can try this if you've already been in practice take your legs off hold breathe in and out 3 2 and 1 drop it down hug and sit down no breath in completely breathe out back again just one more round straighten you're not looking up at the ceiling you're not tucking your chin to your chest gazes at the wall or where the wall meets the ceiling release five your choice four wherever you are you will notice your abdomen is engaged 3 2 and 1 once again hug your knees sit completely tall relax now move come down to lying hug your knees towards your chest pressing the small of your back that arch at your lower back press that into the earth hold one more breath in breath out drop your feet onto the mat it can be slowly it can make a loud noise don't worry now bring your palms next to you gaze up towards the ceiling try and walk your heels back so that your fingers kind of graze the back of your heels you don't have to hold so you are here either place it closer or slightly away in line there take another deep breath in completely breathe out open your palms wide lift your seat up push your knees in the direction of your toes and notice what's happening your thighs is playing apart press the thighs together once you're here and you're comfortable raise squeeze your glutes bring it higher raise your belly raise your chest arms can come under your uh, legs or your thighs squeeze and hold you want to take it further lift a shoulder roll it down the other shoulder in place your fingers and you come to setu bandhasana your bridge pose notice you don't tucking your chin nose is pointing towards the ceiling bring the chest up the thighs stay together imagine you're pressing an imaginary block or book between your thighs to stay there you're going to breathe in breathe out press through your feet into the earth fingers widely open release your hands your hands on the side let it stay there shoulders roll out press your knees towards your chest one more breath in completely breathe out now take your palms place it on your knees and here just draw circles 1 2 and 3 now from inside the other way 1 2 and 3 this should feel good in your back you can also keep both your knees together and draw circles it's a nice massage to your lower back straighten right straighten your left leg 
to either corners of the mat arms come to rest next to you close your eyes the legs drop to the side come into your most comfortable position lying down on your back if your lower back is arching too much and you're feeling some amount of pressure you can always place a folded towel or a small pillow you can always keep your knees bent whatever makes you feel comfortable once you're here Take a deep breath in. Completely exhale through your mouth, giving a big sigh. That's one way for you to relax completely. It's a way to signal your body that's okay to relax and release all the good hormones in your blood. Stay here. feeling completely relaxed and this becomes hard for us to relax if uh, we have the monkey mind where it's jumping from one thought to the other so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our attention to our chest so that we stay focused at a point initially as you breathe in notice your chest expand as you breathe out your choice you can breathe out through your mouth or through your nose two more rounds take another deep breath in completely exhale Letting your whole body go heavy on the mat. You can stay here for as long as you want to. I'm going to end the session by chanting one round of Om. So, want to do this? Can rest your, bring your feet together, rest your right hand on your belly, left on your chest. Take a deep breath in, just noticing the vibrations beneath your palms while you chant Om. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. If you're new here, remember to subscribe to my channel. That way you will not miss any future videos. If you think this is helpful to somebody you know, please share. It's always fun to do these kind of um, series or this yoga journey with family and friends. That way we stay more accountable. Namaste.